The ANSI lift is another real exciting feature that is going to increase the power of the Metasoft program and allow you to get paid accurately on your claims without having to do a lot of weird workarounds in order to get your claims out. We'll talk about that. I want someone here whose arm works to raise their hand and maybe even stand up and tell me a good synopsis of how Metasoft stores identifiers for providers. Can someone describe that in a real simple manner for me? There's no takers. Does Metasoft store identifiers in a simple way that makes sense? Describe NPI, PIN numbers. It does? So what happens, who's in a multi, or who, who's in a situation where one insurance carrier wants you to file as a group and another one wants you to file as an individual? I see heads shaking. How do you handle that now? C create a different claim? How many of you create different providers? I see a couple hands back there. You create different providers. And what happens with those different providers? Do you, have, do you attach the same provider to all of your patients or do you have to remember to pitch, pick the right one? You have to remember to pick the right provider to go with the right patient. Do, is Metasoft right now flexible enough for you to handle this without a workaround? Because really what you're doing is you're saying this is a workaround. This is really you're setting up two providers instead of giving you the flexibility to have one provider that can build to the different carriers the different ways that you need to. Metasoft version 16 completely changes the way that those identifiers are stored so that you can send, have one provider set up, have it sent to Medicare as a group and Blue Cross Blue Shield as an individual or vice versa, however you want to set it up, you can. This is also a preparation for ANSI 5010. The changes that we made here are necessary in order for us to step up to the point where we're able to to transmit an ANSI 5010 claim. How much fun was the transition to NPI? Was it fun? No? What about NSF to ANSI? Was that fun? The next one is coming, and it is 5010. Testing on 5010 begins, you can submit test claims in January. The deadline is January of 2012. Metasoft version 16 will take you and step you up to the point where you're going to have an easier transition to ANSI 5010 as a result of the changes that we made to how the identifiers are stored. I would highly recommend that you not say to yourself, well, if ANSI 5010 is coming, I'm just going to wait for 5010. One, it's more expensive for you to do that with Metasoft's price structure. And two, there's going to be a lot of changes when it comes to that and your office's ability to absorb all of those changes in one big swoop is not necessarily going to be easy. I am working on the requirements for 5010 right now. It is a 3,000 line spreadsheet where there's changes that I'm going to have to make into the product. There's a lot of changes that are coming that you will need to have your office adapt to. You don't want to have more pain than is necessary. You need to make this change now. So let me bring up a picture of what the new identifier screen looks like here. Um, okay, so what we have here in the background is our new provider setup and the provider uh, when you enter a new doctor into Metasoft. And how many tabs are there in your version of Metasoft on the provider? Anyone know? Can you remember? There's at least five. We've consolidated them down to three. We have an address tab, a reference tab, and what we have up there on the far right is the provider IDs, which replaces the pins tab that was there before. The pins tab that you had before would list all of your insurance carriers on the provider, or if you went into it from the insurance carrier, it would list all of the providers. And you'd set up your pins, one for each insurance carrier. And it was, it, it was somewhat flexible, but not necessarily to the degree that you see here. 
What we have set up here is a new grid that you have the ability to set up however you want. Okay, so right here we have our default row or our all row. And right here, this box, each line here is going to be a different setup within this box. So our default row here will have for all insurance carriers at all facilities, we want to file claims as either an individual or a group. And these are the identifiers that we would like to go with their corresponding qualifiers on the claim. So the all row here would have a, uh, this checked, this checked, and then you can specify whether you want a particular number or if you want it to come from the practice where we have a similar setup, you can pull it from the practice level.